We are in Orkney, flying between islands in the north of Scotland. The flights here, conducted by Logan Air, include the shortest commercial flight in the world. The routes here link people and communities across the Northern Islands, Scotland and points beyond. These images cover a 15-minute flight between Kirkwall and Westry and between Westry to Papa Westry, a flight of no more than three minutes, all in the BN2 Islander. June the 21st, Midsummer's Day, started off as a foggy one in Kirkwall. Whilst Kirkwall has an ILS, inter-island flights are flown VFR as instrument approaches are not available elsewhere other than Kirkwall. Leaving the airport is easy. Check-in, open until 20 minutes before departure, is swift and friendly. This is small-scale aviation. One desk, one gate, one ground agent. The operation's a single pilot, and a brief cabin safety demonstration is given before engine starts. Cruise altitude between Kirkwall and Westry is initially just under 1,000 foot, with an airspeed of 120 knots. A GPS unit supplements the traditional instruments and VFR navigation techniques. As we approach Westry, the clouds lower and we descend to about 500 foot. Uh, the airline has a dispensation to operate at 350 feet with two miles visibility. The airports at Westry and Papa Westry are small, very small. A hangar for the fire crew and a small building that has an office, a toilet and somewhere to stay when it's dry. That's it. Turnaround times are short too, less than five minutes. Leaving Westry, the wind is unfavourable for the very shortest flight time between the islands and we leave off a downwind leg from one airport that, within seconds, becomes a left base for Papa Westry. We have crossed the water in just over two minutes. The return flight across the bay in the afternoon was even longer, two and a half minutes. The weather was better and the views from 1,000 feet are tremendous. The weather on these flights was good, making the flights relatively simple but Logan Air connects the islands with each other and the world the whole year round. The two pilots I spoke to both like the BN2 Islander. It's easy to fly, the GPS acts as a good backup, and it has a stable autopilot. The unreliable fuel indicators are ignored as the quantity of fuel in the tanks is physically measured each time the aeroplane is refueled, and the crews have a good feel for the fuel consumption. There is so much more to do in Orkney than flying islanders. Beautiful scenery, ancient buildings, stone circles, and more puffins than you can count. In any weather, Orkney is a magical place. <laughs>